Hi there, it's Shelly from FaithX, helping you connect your faith and your business with confidence. Today, I just wanna share a quick thing. Um, I had two um, pieces, I guess, from my life connect, and I thought it was really interesting in the way that they intersected. So uh, the first thing um, is actually chronologically the second thing that happened, but it's a better intro. So the first thing is that in the sermon on Sunday, I heard this quote. It says, we are part of God's family, which means we are part of his family business. We don't get to enjoy the benefits without also having the responsibility. And that made me think about, um, I mean, partly just because, you know, I've never thought about being a part of God's family as being a part of his family business. And the, the um, idea was that we are sent with the Great Commission. The Great Commission was not just for the people in the Bible at that time. The Great Commission was for all people moving forward. Um, and with that idea that we're sent to go share the good news of what we believe and not like in a spammy like hey you should be a christian you're going to hell otherwise right it's it's sharing the love that god has for us in a way that other people can understand and want to ask more like they want to know where we're getting this from right um, and in our business i've talked about this a little bit in uh, a couple other videos but in our business one of the ways that we can do that is in the way we treat people, right? In the way that we do business, um, sometimes just by doing business in a way that is ethical, it makes us stand out. Um, there is a verse that came up in my small group Bible study, um, and that was Romans 15, 13. Uh, and it says, let me see if I can remember this. This I am trying to, rem uh, trying to memorize it, so um, I might have to look it up. But it's, it says... May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So it's really interesting to me that, I mean, this verse is super interesting in many ways, but the piece that I want to talk about today is that it's interesting to me that our hope um, brought around by trusting in God, right? The hope comes from God when we trust in him, that's our action. Our hope, our action is to trust. He brings the hope, the joy and the peace. And it's not just for us, it overflows into the rest of our lives, right? It overflows to other people. So there's another verse, um, 2 Corinthians 1, three through five, uh, which says, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, we also, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. And again, that is not just for us, right? God comforts us so we can comfort other people. It's like, um, it's like this other verse in Romans, God gives us hope so we can share that hope with others. Um, and that those two verses plus that quote from the sermon, it just really stood out to me in terms of our business in the way that we can shine light in the places that may not have any and to show people um, the hope and the light and the comfort that we have through Jesus because of Jesus um, to others in our business and our interactions. So my challenge for you today and my question is, how are you shining and this overflowing of your joy, peace, hope, and comfort that you get from God to other people. How are you doing this? Because it's not just for us, right? It's not, um, our, our responsibility is more than just trusting for our own sake. Our responsibility is trusting God so that he can do this and overflow it to other people. Um, so how are you doing this? And if you aren't experiencing this yourself, and to be honest, I have trouble with this sometimes. Sometimes I don't experience his joy, peace, comfort, and hope. Um, then pray extra specifically this week that you might experience that, that you will learn to trust in him for those things so that you can overflow it to other people. Because it does have to come from him to us and then overflow out, right? If, if you're trying to do this on your own strength to just make it happen, to overflow it from yourself, you don't have enough in you to overflow. It has to come from God. That's the only place where you get enough. So um, let me know in the comments. And then also be sure to subscribe and put the notification bell on uh, to get more Wednesday updates. And um, 
in the summer, probably mid to late June, um, the Sword and Savvy interview series season one will be launching. This is a bunch of Christian entrepreneurs, established Christian entrepreneurs sharing how their faith impacts their business and how their business impacts their faith. So there will be lots of value and you won't want to miss that. So again, I'm Shelly with Faith X, helping you connect your faith and your business with confidence. Have a great week.